hello guys um thank you very much for coming to watch this video tutorial again i am crispy notalo um today i would like to teach you how to set up hmvc in code igniter i will actually assume that most of you or all of you have already learned how what code igniter is they already know what what uh, models are what views are what controllers are if not so i would highly request you to maybe um watch other tutorials on code igniter without hmvc then when you're done please come back and you'll be able to get through with this video so um hmvc in code igniter will basically be having code igniter as it is plus an extension called a uh, modular extension hmvc modular extension so in this tutorial we are going to download code igniter we are going to download our HMVC modular extension and set up HMVC and see how it works. So first things first, go to your browser. Uh, then you will come to the site, which I'll, I'll, I'll provide the link to the, in the description. So you'll come to codeigniter.com forward slash download. Then um, there are two versions here. There's codeigniter 3 and codeigniter 2.x or 2. all, whatever, like codeigniter 2. So as per now as by the time of recording this which is 2015 20, uh, 28th of august 2015 um uh, uh code igniter 3.0.1 is the latest version of code igniter so we are going to download this instead of code igniter 2.24 so that we can see the new features that code igniter 3.01 has to offer okay so i just hit the download button and uh okay let me see mm, okay so yeah it's already downloaded it um so here it is so i'll move it to the desktop just for now uh so when you go to our desktop uh here it is i will extract it too long to extract okay uh, so there it is so um as usual uh, because it runs on PHP we have to store it in our uh, in our location where our server is so for instance my location is I'm going to use ZAMP uh, for this tutorial but for the next tutorials we'll be using a virtual server that uh, uh, runs on vagrant uh sorry runs on nginx but it's called vagrant laravel homestead okay um so i go to zamp i go to htdocs then i will set up i'll give it a folder code igniter uh, hmvc so the same way you set up code igniter you just copy your files and paste them in there yeah there gonna take a few minutes so there it is so when we try to go to localhost uh, since mine has a problem with the ports so i'm using port 81 but if you if you think yours don't have any problem with the ports just use localhost uh forward slash so we named it code igniter forward slash hmbc there it is. Uh, at least tells us welcome to Code Igniter. Hmm. Nice. I like the new update. The the highlight being red. Okay. Anyway. Um. Once we've done that, we'll have to download the um the modular extension for HMV uh, for Code Igniter HMVC. Uh. I'll also provide this link on the description. Uh. So when you come to this page, the first thing you will go to is to downloads then uh, you'll basically come and uh, okay you can come and look at the branches uh, there's a new update for code igniter 3.x so i just download zip uh, which is the same thing as downloading the repository so i'll just direct it to the desktop my downloads folder is so full so let me just start the download okay it's a very small file it will take very little time to download so um where well, there it is so i will extract it 
there we go so why design there it is so once you open it you'll find four files or okay two files and two folders so these two files won't be necessary for us today so i'll just show you uh when sorry i'll just go through the most important things so we have two folders here and if you notice in our codeigniter hmvc file uh, um for those people who have already known codeigniter um we have the core folder and the third party folder so inside the core folder we'll copy the content of our core folder that we downloaded so i'll come here copy this paste it in here okay that's easy done come back uh look for a third party a folder called third party it should also be in under your applications folder please don't touch the system folder just leave it as it is so a third party then copy the whole of this folder which is mx into application third party in your project okay so when you go back to our our site okay let me just close this i don't think we need them anymore so when you refresh yeah nothing's broken still the same old thing but then now we have to actually set up hmvc we just copied the files into it but you haven't um done anything important to make sure that it um it does the uh modularization that you wanted to see so what next let's go to our project folder uh sorry let me just close this too so yeah here it is so we'll come back to our application folder and create a new folder and name it modules yes so this is where all our modules will stay like this is where they will reside uh for example we are making an application uh that basically does uh okay like a school system registration we'll have um uh, we'll have let me just let's run notepad so that you can see this so we'll have a module called students another module called lecturers another module called courses right so all these will have their own controllers models and views okay yeah so that's basically it so whenever you whenever you're building an application uh on hmvc know that all your modules will have their own controllers their own models and their own views okay so for instance let's create a sample a sample module uh let's create a module called home okay then inside home we'll have three folders called controllers models have and called views so and i think you understand what models are uh, what views are and what controllers are uh if you don't please go back and uh, watch drills on codeigniter so that when you come back here you can be able to catch up easily so i will open sublime text so that we can be able to start coding a bit just a little bit of code so we'll open a folder we'll open our okay i have to navigate to that very quickly htdocs then here it is select the folder come to application go to modules yeah okay sorry you've seen whatever we did before right okay so we'll come to core and add a new file i'm um, actually like this uh because um i like creating a main controller in my core controller so that i don't keep on extending uh the base controller uh of the hmvc uh class sorry the mx controller class so i will save it as my controller but feel free if you don't feel like doing this you can just basically extend mx controller from your modules so php then i'll create a class called uh, my controller and it should extend it extends mx controller so um the new thing that you can see here basically is that we are no longer extending ci controller ci controller is the base um controller for codeigniter 
but today since we want to use a modularized way of our oh, sorry way of or sorry a modularized approach uh, which is through HMVC then we have to extend MX controller uh, from uh, what we downloaded in our HMVC modular modular extension which we got a few minutes ago so uh, first of all I'll create a constructor um, so the constructor will have that basically uh, basically what you're telling it is that I just get every everything from the construction from the constructor in MX controller so yeah, that's it that's done with my controller okay so um, inside our modules the home module that you made so we'll create a new controller in the controllers folder and we'll name it home.php please make sure that the first letter of your controller name is capitalized okay that's the issue we had uh when uh sorry well, by the time i'm recording this video uh because sim somehow the hmvc module extension wasn't working so well with coding letter 3 so i hope that there's an update that will be produced anytime soon uh but as per now if you find any errors just please make sure that the name of the controller or any name of of the model or or of a view in a mod uh, in a module has the first letter capitalized okay so we'll have capital h home.php okay then you click save then we'll do the same thing we did to our controller for us to our base controller so we'll say class home extends my controller sorry okay so inside we'll basically also create a constructor i'm using basically so much today okay uh okay so okay good so yeah get anything from the parent parent class yes yeah, constructor okay so um we'll create an index function and this index function is basically the default function that will be loaded whenever the controller is called if there is no function called after the controller name okay so let's just echo something simple and say uh welcome to code igniter hmvc okay yeah so let's hope everything runs. Uh, I haven't yet set up uh, the HTTP access file. So we'll have to add index.php there. Then we say home. Voila! There it is, guys. It says, welcome to CodeIgniter HMVC. See, works perfectly. But then let's create one more function just before we go so that you can test that it really, really works. So we'll come to function. Then I say test. Then I say echo. I have run the test. Okay. So if I uh, navigate to test, yeah, it says I have run the test. Okay. Okay, guys, um, I think that's it for setting up HMVC in uh, CodeIgniter. Um, the next lesson we'll talk about models in um, HMVC. Uh, they, they really don't differ with um, the normal MVC that you have on CodeIgniter. But um, I'll teach you uh, some easy ways of doing this. Okay, um, so please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, thank you very much for viewing the video. See you next time.